These are my match day five UEFA Nations League A predictions. I put out a video yesterday where I predicted who makes it into the knockout stages. I realized that only one team out of each group make it into the knockout stages. So if you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch that. Also, make sure you subscribe so you can enter this awesome giveaway. Leave your comments down below and smash that like button. Let's get into the predictions. First up, we've got Poland taking on Netherlands. Now, Poland are currently third in the table while Netherlands are topping it in first position. Poland are going to look for some points to climb up this table and potentially qualify for the knockout stages. The last time these two teams met in the Nations League, it was a 2-2 draw. So I think we can be expecting another high scoring game from these two teams. Poland are going to try and win this game with their Barcelona star, Robin Lewandowski. If he has a good game, I think they might be able to score quite a few goals against this Netherlands team. Some other players to keep your eye on in this Poland team are Zielinski from Napoli, Milak from Juventus, Seismanski from Feyenoord and Klitsch from Leeds United. Poland have the talent to beat this Netherlands team but I just think it might be one step too far. The Netherlands team will be relying on their normal stars like Dumfries, De Ligt, De Frey with a call-up for Malaysia from Man United. I'm glad to see he's getting a chance in the Dutch jersey. Although at the end of the day I do think Van Gaal's men are going to get the better of Poland here so my prediction is a 2-1 Netherlands win and my betting tip is both teams to score. Next up, we've got Denmark taking on Croatia. Now, these are the two teams that are at the top of their group. Denmark being first and Croatia being second. The last time they met each other, Croatia won 1-0. Now, Denmark will be wanting to keep their hot run going in the Nations League and potentially make it in to those knockout stages. Croatia will want to upset that. Some players to keep your eye on for Croatia is obviously Ivan Perisic from Tottenham, who's made a good start there, and Luka Modric, who is the Real Madrid star that duo is going to be very very interesting to watch and if they link well from defense into the midfield they could be setting up a lot of chances for this Croatian team but I do think the Danes will have something to say about this Christian Eriksen the Manchester United man will be leading Denmark out in this clash against Croatia and I do think he could possibly lead them to another victory in this Nations League however I do think it's going to be a tight encounter down there in Zagreb in Croatia so my prediction for this is a 1-1 draw and my betting to is over one and a half goals. Next up, we've got France taking on Austria. Now, it's no secret that France have been struggling in the Nations League. They haven't won a game. They're at the bottom of the table, and they're taking on Austria, who are currently sitting third in the table. The last time these two teams saw each other in the Nations League, it was a 1-1 draw. Now, France do have an injury of their star man, Benzema, but Dembele and Griard will be stepping up and have been selected to take part in this game. I do think Dembele is going to have a very, very big role to play in this game if France are looking to get back to winning ways. And then obviously we all know Paul Pogba is still injured. He will not be taking place in this France encounter. But Kylian Mbappe, the PSG man who has scored in every single game in League One at the moment will be their strike force up in front. And I'm expecting him to cause some havoc in that Austrian defense. Now, this Austrian side have got off to a good start in this Nations League, but I do think France are going to finally click and this is going to be one step too far. So my prediction for this, I think it's going to be a bit of a goal fest. 4-1 to France and my betting tip is France to win. Next up, we've got Belgium taking on Wales. Now, we saw Belgium come into the competition and struggle in that first game against Netherlands. Going down 4-1, but then they bounced back with a 6-1 win over Poland and then drew to Wales. Now, Wales didn't get off to such a good start. They're currently fourth. They haven't won a game. They've lost three and they've drawn one. We spoke about that draw against Belgium in their last encounter. Belgium will be looking to win this game to go above Netherlands on the log and make it into the knockout stages. However, they are without Romeo Lukaku, but they will be relying on the ever-present Kevin De Bruyne, who has been having a good season for Man City in the Premier League of late. But Wales will be wanting to upset this Belgium team. Their last game out, they lost 3-2 to Netherlands, so they did prove that they could put some goals past a very, very good and clean outfit. It. I do think it's going to be one step too far for Gareth Bale and Wales against this Belgium team. So my prediction is a 2-0 win to Belgium and my betting tip is Belgium to win. <laughs> 
Next up, Germany taking on Hungary. Now, this is a very, very interesting group. Hungary should not be leading this group, but they are. They started the Nations League off very, very well with a 1-0 win over England, then a loss to Italy, a draw to Germany, and then that emphatic 4-0 win over England again. Germany got off to a much slower start with three draws and then eventually building up to a 5-2 victory over Italy. They are going to want to continue that momentum, take on this Hungary team and go into that number one position and into the knockout stages. Germany will be relying on their household's names, Sane, Müller, Neuer and so many others and I just think Germany are again going to hit their straps. They're coming off that 5-2 win against Italy and they're going to face this Hungary team which will, to be fair, be a tight in counter I think Hungary aren't just going to sit back and let Germany dictate this game and claim those three much needed points however my prediction for this is a 2-0 Germany win and my betting tip is Germany to win and over one and a half goals Next up, a massive match. We've got Italy taking on England. Now, England haven't won a game in the Nations League. Italy have only won the one, and they're coming off that 5-2 defeat against Germany. This is going to be an absolute cracker. Italy have named a very, very experienced side for this clash, while England have brought in on debut Ivan Toni, who's been having an absolute cracker in the Premier League, and then Dyer, the defender from Tottenham, makes a return to the England squad. I do think the more interesting team to look at here is England. England because they're going to the World Cup are they going to be able to build and create some momentum going into the World Cup or is it all going to fall apart like we saw at the beginning of the Nations League I do think this is going to be a very very tight game I'm expecting England to come out hot Italy obviously don't want to lose at home so I'm going for a 1-1 draw and my betting tip is both teams to score Next up, we've got Spain versus Switzerland. Now, Spain haven't lost the game, which is why they're first in their group. While Switzerland are fourth, having only won one, a surprise 1-0 win over Portugal. I said in my video yesterday that Switzerland are a little bit of a dark horse. I do think it's going to be either them or Serbia that go through out of their World Cup group. So Switzerland are also going to want to find some form late in this Nations League to carry through into the World Cup. Spain will be relying on their experienced team to pull them through this Jordi Alba, Azpilicueta, Morata. I do think they're going to be able to get this job done against Switzerland at home, but you never know. Switzerland are a very, very good team, and anything can happen in international football. However, in saying this, my prediction is a 2-0 Spain win, and my betting tip is Spain to win. Then lastly, we've got the Czech Republic taking on Portugal. The last time these two teams met in the Nations League, it was a 2-0 win to Portugal. Czech are third in the table, Portugal are second, all fighting for that number one spot to move into the knockout stages. Now, this is an important match day for Czech because they do want to stay out of the relegation zone for League B. A positive is that they have the Bayern Leverkusen striker Patrick Schick coming in for them to take on Portugal. However, Portugal are always a star-studded lineup. With Cristiano Ronaldo, Diego Jota, Joe Cancelo and Bernardo Silva, this is going to be a very, very tough mountain for Czech to climb. And I do think Portugal is going to get the job done. I think it will be tight, but Portugal will get it done. 1-0 to Portugal and my betting tip is Portugal to win. 